Drama recently, last three games. Uh, I suppose you'd, be, you'd like to get through one where you maybe don't have to score a late goal this yeah, week. Yeah, exactly. You know, obviously we've won the games, but we've left it late and, and obviously drawn. So yeah, it'd be nice to um, be a bit more comfortable and be able to relax on the side. But you know, as long as we cope winning, then uh, I think everyone will be pleased. Yeah, obviously uh, Halifax uh, going really well at the moment. Yep. Um, another tough game, but I suppose with, with sort of situation now, Cheltenham back in front and the fact they've got the game in hand next week. Um, people might say it's a must-win game. Do you think it is at this stage? Well, I think for us, we've got 14 games and we've got to win as many as possible. You know, we'd like to win all 14. So, you know, we're going to Halifax Saturday, knowing or us believing that you know we need to win the game. We want to win the game, and I think that that's how we approach every game from now to the end of the season. Um, you know, we can't rely on other people to to beat the teams around us. So we need to make sure that we're doing our part. And if they do slip up, then we can get that gap closed. Yeah, I think both Forest Green and Cheltenham are on course to get well over 90 points at the moment, which is incredible, really. Um, how many points do you think you'll need to to win the title? Uh, obviously, I think at the minute it's going to be you know the high 90s. I think you know, and uh, I think the top three teams are probably capable of, of getting into that. You know, um, points total. So just need to make, to make sure that we. Um, the top of the three teams that are chasing it. Yeah, and um, obviously Halifax, um, managed by Jim Harvey, known well at uh, Forest Green. Um, have, have you sort of come up against his sides either as a player or a manager in the past? Um, I think I might have as a player, which is a bit of a time ago. So um, I think Jim, since he took over, has done you know, a really good job. I think it's 13 games unbeaten. or you know, So he's on a good run. He's got them playing how he wants them to play and they're full of confidence. So um, it's going to be you know a tough game and a battle as well. And, to make sure that we're in the right frame of mind when we're going up there and hopefully looking to get three points and obviously that win. And are you expecting it to be like a, a typical Jim Harvey side uh, playing on, on the floor? And Well, yeah, I think the pitch will have an impact on how the game's played. I don't think it will be ideal, but you know we know that before we go up there. So uh, I think there'll be times when we need to play both teams. We'll try and play and there'll be times where it'll probably get a little bit sticky and, and have to battle and put your foot in. So we need to make sure we're doing both sides. Um, and we're capable of doing both sides and if we do that then you know, I feel that we're good enough to get three points. Yeah, obviously you'll be missing Sam Wedgbury this weekend though. Uh, how much of a miss will he be? Yeah, I mean, I mean Sam has played really well this season so far. He's high energy, uh, and, you know, he gets people around him, their game up as well. So yeah, he'll be missed but you know, it's a squad game and someone's now coming in to take his place and it's down to them to show the gaffer that you know, they're capable of standing aside. So you know, we've got good squad of players that are competing for places and um, you know, whoever steps in needs to know that they're, they're playing well. And otherwise, Jamie's a full strength squad at the moment, everyone fit? Yeah, everyone's fit, ready to go So and, and in good spirits and confidence, so you know, we're looking forward to the weekend. Okay, thanks Jamie. Cheers Rob.